number 64 plate was used to undermine the, the space between the calcium and the cornea surface. And this uh, way can easily remove the bank keratopathy uh, without uh, a EDTA. 7-0-Y suture was used as a traction placed in the 3 and 9 o'clock position. Of amniotic membrane was removed and uh, placed with the sticky side facing up. The, this uh, membrane will be placed onto the to cover the uh, uh, the cornea defect. Uh, component one will be spread over the uh, denuded cornea surface after uh, drying with the wax cell, as uh, shown here. And this will create uh, the uh, the recipient bed before the application of the amniotic membrane. Again. The component 2 will be used to drip onto the sticky surface of the amniotic membrane. And this uh, membrane will then be uh, flipped over to cover the uh, cornea surface. And uh, this will create the adhesion. To ensure the adhesion to be complete and smooth, uh, following the 0.12 forceps spread, a uh, muscle hook will be used to press onto the surface to further smoothen and uh, the entire adhesion uh, between the amniotic membrane and uh, the cornea surface. And this same procedure can be uh, used not only for bank keratoplasty but also for any kind of lamella keratoplasty. After trimming the excessive amniotic membrane, which is not able to uh, glue onto the entire cornea epithelium, the additional amniotic membrane is used to cover the entire cornea, limbo, and uh, conjunctiva surface as a bandage. This membrane is uh, sutured onto the uh, scurla with 10 or 9 on suture in the per string running fashion, a total of about 6 to 8 bytes. Uh, frequently occur in this bank keratopathy as shown in this case before surgery. After the surgery, the healing completes very quickly, resulting in a healthy and uh, intact uh, cornea surface after the bandage membrane is uh, was removed.